How's everybody doing? This is Cal here from Calcraft. Do you ever start up a survival world and live in a derpy little box for too long while you get on your feet? Want to turn that 5x5 house into a respectable and good looking house with not too much work? Well, you came to the right place, because that's what we're going to be doing in this one. So, let's get started. First things first, let's take off that top row. You don't need a straight block as your house. Better to have some shape, have some difference in the width and the height. Fill in that ceiling and establish that height of 4. And remember, short and long houses look better than tall and skinny. Now, let's put in the roof. Follow along here as I stack up some blocks, then move on and stack up some stairs. Pay close attention to what type of stair I'm using. I'm using a dark color compared to the outside. For this one, oak and spruce are my choice. Make sure the dark wood is the stairs on top. Continue to come along and fill it in, then put those slabs on top that match. Now, an important aspect, we're going to add some depth. You need that overhang off the side. That's what creates shape and gives the eye something good to look at. We're going to step up here with some stairs. Slab up on top as always. Stairs back down. Follow along here as I create the roof. Many of you have probably seen this design. And then we'll continue to do the same thing on the back creating depth in the build. This will instantly make our house look better. If you're not doing it on every house, you should be. Now, next step, we're gonna take these corners, make them logs. You don't want just a straight block of planks. You gotta switch it up, give it some different textures, and that makes the build look better. Next step, fence posts. This is key, it's a good detail to add to your house. I'm going to use oak fence on the front and back and spruce fences on both sides. It gives a great and easy detail to your house. Now we're going to get into the shape of the house. Stairs can be used at the bottom and also to make shapes up top. Put some windows in because windows are always very, very important. Now to the side, window, and some stairs again. And do the same on the other side of the house. Now to the back, we're going to put a large window in here. Fill it up with some glass, then put some spruce stairs detail at the bottom. A little added details out the front. Trap doors on the sides of the house. Fill up that blank wall in the back with a stair detail too. Now we're going to put a floor in. It's good to get a floor in and get some design in there. I went with oak and spruce was alternated. Spruce slabs on the side. Which continue as we wrap around the side of the house placing those slabs in between the two fence posts. Coming back to the side, now we're gonna put some more floor in, more oak and spruce planks. And repeat that on the other side. To the back of the house, we're gonna do some more floor to give it some more detail. It's important to get that detail. Now back to the front, a little path, stepping stones up to the house. One of the most important steps next, you need to do this with every house if you're not already doing it. Bone meal, as you see on screen now, lace bone meal everywhere, everywhere around on the grass, fill it up, crowd it up, so you can see that grass all over. Now some final details, torch, button, another torch, button and another torch. Details both look good during the day and light up the night. Now we're going to move straight into a final detail up top on the roof, it's one of my favorite things to do put some stairs, racing stripes as I call them on the roof. Gives the eye something to look at and to be honest it's seriously one of my favorite looking things on a build. And with that final detail the exterior of the house is all complete. Now I'm not going to leave you empty handed on an interior because I have a pretty cool one to show you. Let's take out the ceiling that we initially had in. Fill in one block with those oak woods and matching interior. 
throw in some torches up in the sky for some light and we're gonna fill this area right here now this is a little bit out there I'll be real honest but it does look good in the end put some leaves up in the ceiling the light above them looks really good some fence posts on the side hold up those leaves as if they were really holding them up looks pretty sharp right with that green up above now bed in the corner chest next to it as a side table and chest in front of it crafting table in the left corner flower pot on top with the fern throwing this picture above the bed in the corner tripwire hook as a coat hanger furnace with a sword detail above and then we're gonna put some spruce flooring in the bottom come across take it out take out the bed put it underneath and just like that the three by three interior of our house is all done nice and looking good as well as the rest of the house do your survival actions come back check out the sunset walk into your beautiful house with all your new resources and all your survival gear get in bed and fall asleep for another great day oh and one more thing you don't have to use just the wood I used in this video you just need two types of wood sub out the oak wood I put in with the lighter wood of your choice and the spruce wood with the darker wood of your choice you just turned a 5x5 block into a beautiful house now enjoy but that's it thanks for coming